Mr. Edmund is a resident in an elderly care home and takes multiple medications for his conditions. Just last week, he started feeling dizzy and fell down when he was taking a shower. He broke his leg and was hospitalized. The pharmacist then found out that he was also on sleeping pills and his medications haven't been reviewed for a while now. Guess what? This is not something new. In fact, as many as 52% of the elderly experience some form of life-threatening adverse drug events in the Malaysian care homes. In December 2016, we conducted a cross-sectional study in four care homes to determine the nature and the occurrence of drug-related problems among the elderly. Of the 120 medical records, we discovered a total of 273 drug-related problems, of which 41% of them were adverse drug events. We also found out that some patients had not been compliant to their physician's instructions, where they took it to themselves to decrease the medication doses or discontinue prescribed medications without the physician's approval. What's more shocking is that these residents have little to no knowledge about their medications. Only a few care homes had standardized care plans. Many had inadequate staff and few had any residential or light healthcare professionals, altogether contributing to the poor quality of care among the residents. Indeed, pharmacists could be one of the solutions to this, as they are among the most accessible frontline primary care practitioners and are well positioned to promote elderly care. A pharmacist directed home medication review, coupled with staff training, telehealth, and involving participation of other healthcare professionals can improve geriatric care among the residents in care homes. So, how different is your geriatric care in care homes? If you have any idea or have done any intervention in your settings on geriatric care, share your thoughts with us at the International Forum on Quality and Safety for Healthcare on the 25th to 26th of August 2017.